Corey Asraf, we're just out of the screening of Let Me Make You a Martyr, uh, yeah. uh, which went down incredibly well. So to get things started, tell us a little bit about this autumnal gothic masterpiece that you've just put together. Well, I did it with my best friend, John. Um, we had been developing this script for years. We shot a short film, which led to us finding uh, financing for this feature film. Mm -hmm. We shot it in Oklahoma two years ago, mm -hmm. and we've been editing and shepherding it into the world ever since. Yeah. Um, it's based off of real experiences we both had in our lives, and it's just been an incredible experience making a feature film and being able to work with the actors we were able to work with, working mm -hmm. with Manson and Mark Boone Jr. and Nico, and um, the friendships we've had, the friendships we've made mm -hmm. with Sam, with Gore Abrams, with Dan Berkey, these people are such talented actors mm -hmm. and we just can't wait to do, do it again. Yeah, I mean it's a real ensemble cast and obviously you have the standout names from Sons of Anarchy, you have Marilyn Manson involved and things like that. How did you manage to keep everyone under a controlled level, as it were, so that one person didn't stick out more than another uh, throughout the course of the film? Well, the screenplay was designed that way. Every character has a lot to say. Mm -hmm. They all have their own journey. They all have uh, their own victories and their own losses. Because even though it is quite dialogue heavy, mm -hmm. it doesn't become self-indulgent at any stage. Mm -hmm. And it, there's a fluidity to it where uh, everyone's narrative crosses into everyone else's quite seamlessly. Yeah. And I'm just wondering, uh, how do you put together a script in that fashion because it seems uh, to have all of these different levels to it mm -hmm. and I'm just wondering how you incorporated that because this is your first feature if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Yeah it is, it is my first feature. We had been developing that script for years mm -hmm. so we had a lot of time to develop the characters, we had a lot Excellent. of time to develop the circumstances, we had shot many different projects, music videos and short films mm -hmm. just toying with these ideas. Um, and with these circumstances, but the script is like a web. I mean, mm -hmm. everyone's interconnected in their own way. This yeah. is this forgotten underbelly middle American world. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's just a classic spider web, and, yeah. you know, and, and uh, Drew and June are stuck in the middle. Awesome. You know? Awesome. Well, Corey, thank you so much. Really looking forward to seeing where you go from here. Uh